Now 31, I had a question for both 45 and 49. And since they're basically the same type of problem, I'm gonna put them in the same video. So we're gonna do a little two for one deal here. So for 45, I was asked to find g of f of zero. So let's, let's break this down. The first thing, start with your innermost um, number here at zero. So if I look, my x value is zero. So when you're on your innermost parentheses, this is an x value, but it's I'm being told, let me switch colors to evaluate it on the f function. So this is the graph of the f function. Okay, fine. So let's go to an x value of zero, which is right about here, and then you see this ordered pair, zero, four. All right, so when I plug in an x value of zero, I get a y value of four back out, so I can simplify this to just g of four. And that's because quite literally f of zero is equal to four, right? That's what this ordered pair means. Well, now my innermost function or my innermost x value is four, all right? But I'm being told, hey, go to the g graph. So let's go over to the g graph over here. And now let's plug in four. So I'm gonna travel out one, two, three, four on my x-axis. And you see I land at this ordered pair of four comma five. So when I plug in my x value of four, I get my g value of five back out, right? So g of four was equal to five, and that's where I'm getting this answer. So this is all about finding y values off of graphs and managing did I have f of x or g of x while I did that. All right, so let me try number 49. Let me erase all my work so far. All right, so let's try 49, and let's take a look at this. This is asking us this time for g of g of zero. So I can see that I'm gonna be hanging just on this g function over here. I don't have to travel to f for, for number 49. But still, our innermost x value is zero. So the first thing I wanna do is find g of zero. So if x is zero, let's start with zero. Now, what is g of zero equal to? Two, all right? Because we can see that we have this ordered pair here of zero, two. Here is my x value, all right? Here is my g value. Okay, so I'm gonna simplify this to g of two. Now when I take a look, my x value is two, so I'm gonna head over to two here, and you see me circling this ordered pair, right? Because again, now, oops, excuse me, I've got an x value of two, but a y value or a g value of zero. So g of two is equal to zero, which is why we have here that g of g of zero is really equal to g of two, but ultimately it's equal to zero. All right, so there's function composition through a graphical lens. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.